<laughs> Dogs are natural predators, even though they are considered man's best friend. When given the opportunity, most will attack birds, lizards, smaller mammals. Let track it go. Let track it go. But even some larger animals. Join us as we look at the 15 most brutal dog attacks caught on camera. 15 Dog Attacks Fox. In this video, hounds from the West Norfolk hunt have invaded the garden of an elderly woman and killed a fox on her patio. The hunt terrier man can be seen climbing into the garden and furtively removing the body while the hounds are left to roam in the garden. Fox hunting is not a sport. Humans are on the side of the dogs, and even the biggest fox is one against a pack, which gives very little chance of escaping. When a dog spots a fox close to what looks like a garbage dump, he decides to chase the fox away. Perhaps this is his garbage dump, and he doesn't want to share any garbage with the curious fox. Foxes make up for their lack of raw power with speed and agility. Some can run at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. For foxes, winning is getting away, and they are experts at dodging predators. Foxes have highly developed senses, including great hearing and vision, especially in the dark. While dogs use scent to track foxes, foxes use sound to predict movement. Their vision is dependent on motion, with vertical pupils like cats, and they can notice a dog in pursuit from a considerable distance. This poor fox in this video doesn't know what hits it when these two pit bulls capture and demolish it. I mean, they grab the fox and tear it to pieces. The idiot filming this is proud to see his dogs destroy another animal, but I guess the world is made up of all kinds of people. Dogs, as opposed to foxes, have more muscular bodies. While both are canines, dogs have a stronger bite. Dogs have an advantage in one-on-one -on -one combat due to their stronger jaws, more muscle, and endurance. So two dogs such as in this video is double the power. 14 Dog Attacks Coyote In this video, a coyote is being attacked by multiple dogs at the County Line Fox Pen in Holt, Florida. This video demonstrates the animal abuse that occurs inside these fenced enclosures. What you cannot see is that the coyote moved along the fence line and was attacked by even more dogs. The hunter at the end could not get the dogs to release from the attack in the woods. The video also demonstrates the panic and horror the adjoining neighbors endured time and time again. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, there are quite a few breeds of dogs that can kill a coyote. A German Shepherd chases away three coyotes, and when the dog's handlers lets his dogs go, the German Shepherd manages to kill one of the coyotes. When the dogs return, their handler sends his dogs on the hunt immediately, and they take off again running after the remaining two coyotes. Adult coyotes have no predators, though numerous large flesh-eating carnivores may prey on small pups on occasion. Coyotes may kill or prey on other coyotes, but the frequency and circumstances that lead to fatal encounters are unknown. Hunting and trapping, sickness and accidents, particularly collisions with motor vehicles, are also significant causes of death. 13 dog attacks. Raccoon a Doberman and a French Bulldog attack and mangle a raccoon that's trying his best to defend himself. The Doberman is doing most of the dirty work as the raccoon eventually goes into shock and is most probably killed. Raccoons are equally hazardous to pets as they are to humans. Raccoons will not assault dogs, but if caught or attacked by a dog, they may fight back. Raccoons can also prey on kittens and small cats for food. Of course, in this video, the raccoon had no chance against two dogs. A pit bull mauls a raccoon after he spots the curious animal on his property. The raccoon tries to escape, but the dog's jaws are too powerful. Raccoons can fight and fend off smaller breeds. But powerful breeds like this can overpower a raccoon without any difficulty. This time, a raccoon finds out how tough Rottweilers are when the dog grabs the raccoon and teaches the animal a lesson after he trespasses into his yard. I feel for these raccoons, but they have a habit of trespassing because they are constantly looking for food. I guess when you're hungry and you got no money, stealing food is the next best thing. The dog in this video goes into the forest to chase a raccoon. And once he grabs the animal, he goes for his throat. And by the look on the raccoon's face, it doesn't feel too good. After seeing these videos, it's clear that raccoons are no match for larger dogs. 12 Dog Attacks Marmot Groundhog 
This cute marmot shows his kung fu skills to these dogs, but it might not be enough, especially because it's three against one. This is happening on a field, so the owner of the dogs who is most probably filming is a sadistic son of a gun, for lack of better words. I feel horrible for this poor marmot because he didn't trespass into anyone's yard. This should not be allowed, and to me, is considered animal cruelty. A dog attacks a groundhog in this video, and this confrontation is a mismatch to say the least, but the groundhog tries to stand his ground nonetheless. Only, when the dog decides to attack, the battle ends quickly. The size difference between groundhogs and dogs, even small dogs is too big, for the groundhog to have a fighting chance. After the dog in this video spots a groundhog, he goes for the kill. And in just a few seconds, the groundhog is demolished and killed by the dog. I'm not the least bit surprised by this outcome. 11 Dog Attacks Monitor Lizard A larger monitor lizard than a dog or cat will see that animal as potential prey and can critically damage, kill, and possibly consume it. And if the dog or cat and the lizard are roughly the same size, they are equally likely to seriously hurt each other. The two dogs in this video do a job on a lizard, as the dogs take turns biting and mauling the reptile until it is no longer alive. It seems like this lizard is cooked, fried, and roasted after this dog is done mauling it to death. The lizard can be seen immobile on the ground and most probably dead. Watch as this dog leaps into the air and grabs a lizard trying to climb a tree. When he grabs the lizard, he is joined by another friend as they pull on the lizard's tail. This is not a small lizard, but it seems defenseless against these dogs. Of course, it's two against one, so it's not fair from the get-go, but I would have expected more resistance from a lizard this size. A lizard tries to escape from a dog in this video, but the dog keeps grabbing the reptile by the tail and preventing him from doing so. It's obvious this lizard isn't going to make it out of this scuffle alive, while another dog watches all the action from nearby and can jump in at any moment, making it even harder for the lizard to escape. Ten dog attacks. Wolf, some dog breeds are capable of fighting and holding off wolves, and our thumbnail is a perfect example of this. I'm not sure what dog breed this is, but the wolf looks like it was killed by it. A wolf dog runs into the wrong yard when it is greeted by a Kongal. What's even more surprising is that the Kongal is tied, but he still demolishes the wolf dog. Wolf dogs are not wolves, but wolf dogs with a high content of wolf DNA have more than 80% wolf DNA. The higher the percentage, the more the canine begins to resemble a wolf, in both appearance and behavior. When the phenotypic characteristics reach 95%, they are almost indistinguishable from those of a wolf. The normal Kangal dog is first and foremost a stock guardian dog, with a temperament that is typical of such dogs. Vigilant, territorial, and defensive of the domestic animals or human family with whom it is bonded. The Kangal dog has the strength, speed, and bravery to intercept and face dangers to the flocks of sheep and goats it protects in Turkey and other countries. Kangal dogs like to scare predators, but if required, they will take a physical stance and even attack. Kangals have the most powerful bite force of any dog, making them prohibited in the United States. They are also employed to guard livestock from cheetahs in Africa, so you can bet your last dollar that they can take on and even kill wolves. Turkish Kangals are bred to protect sheep herds from wolves. A Kangal dog, like its relatives, can kill a wolf on its own. A wolf's biting force is approximately 406 pounds, while a Kangal's biting force is approximately 743 pounds. The Kangal clearly has the upper hand over this wolf in this video. These dogs have also been known to take on bears without a problem. In this video, two brave Kangals don't hesitate to charge a big black wolf and take it on when the wolf gets too close to their territory. This is exactly what these dogs were bred for and they're doing a great job. I've seen a battle between several Kangals and a pack of wolves and the Kangals managed to deter the wolves from attacking. Nine Dog Attacks Monkey The two dogs in this video attacked a monkey that was demolishing the crops on this land, which belonged to the owner of the dogs. Although monkeys are mischievous and get into trouble often, they avoid conflict with other animals, particularly dogs. Although it is far more frequent for a dog to kill a monkey, 
There have been instances of monkeys killing dogs. This behavior could be the result of the dog frightening the monkey or the monkey defending itself. Nonetheless, killing dogs and other animals may be the result of the monkey's violent behavior, but the monkey in this video had no chance against two dogs. Perhaps an adult chimp may have been able to fend off the attacks. After chasing a monkey into a ditch, a dog finishes what he started and easily kills the monkey after mangling it to death. The monkey can be seen slowly dying, as it can barely lift its arms to counter the dog's attacks. Two dogs defend their property after a small monkey trespasses onto it in the middle of the night. The monkey rolls on the ground to try and avoid being bitten, but it's not easy because the dogs are relentless. Pet monkeys can be unpredictable, aggressive, uncontrollable, and even hazardous. They are frequently renowned for biting or scratching even their favorite caregiver. Because this is a frequent behavior in the wild, no amount of training will tame or prevent a wild animal from establishing its dominance. Although the normal wild monkey will not go out of their way to attack something, there have been reports of monkeys engaging in a series of revenge killings. Eight dog attacks wild boar. The dogs in this video are chasing a wild boar in Lahore, Pakistan. It's one against five or six, so the odds are against the boar, who eventually is caught and mauled by the pack. This black pig is cornered by a few dogs taunting it, without attacking it, until another dog runs into the frame like a bat out of hell, and attacks the pig furiously. It looks like these dogs have a stronghold on this wild boar. The animal is cornered in a ditch of some sort by the canines as they take turns biting it, while their owner tries to poke the animal with a stick. When the man realizes it's not enough, he jumps into the ditch and grabs the boar by its hind legs, so it makes it easier for the dogs to kill it. There are now about 6 million feral hogs in the United States, and they do extensive damage to agriculture and forests in general. They can be shot on sight in most places without a hunting license, and most state governments designate them as vermin. Seven dog attacks. Cow. These wild dogs are attempting to target a cow because it's time for lunch. They usually target one of the weaker or smaller cows, and that's exactly what they're doing. They come across a calf with its mother which tries to keep them at bay. When mom and her calf flee, the dogs chase them down and eventually kill the calf. These little dogs are relentless when they try and harass a bull by biting its legs. The bull sends the dogs flying into the air as if they were enjoying a ride at an amusement park. I must say this is hilarious. I can't believe how high the bull is throwing these dogs in the air and they just keep coming back for more. They must be enjoying it. Certain dogs are fierce and will attack almost any animal even though they may regret it sometimes. The dog in this video chases a large calf but doesn't attack it. Inexperienced, the calf just wants to get away from the annoying canine. Six dog attack snake. Jack Russells were bred to kill small animals. You can see it in this little doggy's heart. Their small body and strong paws are built to go through small holes and hunt for these little creatures. This is Sonic a Jack Russell owned by the individual filming. This recording was random as it happened unexpectedly. He was three years of age when it happened, and he fearlessly defeated the snake. This snake is a little more aggressive as it lunges at this dog to try and strike it. But the dog, a German Shepherd, is cautious and remains at a safe distance. When he finally manages to grab the reptile by the tail, he drops it immediately fearing the snake might strike it. The snake in this video is extremely aggressive as it confronts a black dog. The dog is quick and avoids getting too close. And when he finds an opportune time to strike, he grabs the snake and destroys it. Five dog attacks squirrel. The owner who filmed this video wants his dog to be successful in life. But when the dog attacks and tries to kill a squirrel, the man interferes because he doesn't want any animal dying gratuitously. A small dog managed to kill this squirrel without a problem. The person filming didn't interfere, but I'm not sure he got there after the squirrel was already dead. In this video, a dog runs down a 13-stripe ground squirrel in a matter of just a few seconds. After chasing the little rodent, the dog mangles it to death. Four dog attacks goat. The owner of this husky lost control of his dog when the canine decided to go on a killing rampage after he spotted some goats. The owner can be seen getting to his dog just in time, 
preventing the canine from killing any of the goats. It's great to see one conscientious owner take his responsibilities as a pet owner. Under the watchful eyes of a tied Great Dane, two dogs can be seen attacking a goat that is tied and can't defend itself in some sort of motorcycle garage. The dogs eventually choke the goat to death. It's sad to think that someone was filming the entire thing without ever intervening to try and help the poor, defenseless goat. This small dog is very aggressive and chases these goats. He selects one from the group and attacks it. He's joined by another dog, and the two of them are all over the goat. They mutilate the poor little goat and then flee the scene. They appear to be two thieves who have just committed a crime. They are, in fact, two murderers on the run. It's time to call 911. Three dog attacks opossum. The owner of these dogs points at the opossum eating their food, but it takes one of the dogs a few seconds to spot the animal, after which he attacks and kills it. But is it really dead? The dog thinks so. Opossums are experts at pretending to be dead. When confronted by a predator, they frequently play possum. This is an involuntary behavior that is triggered by fear. The opossum's body becomes limp, and its breathing and heartbeat become barely discernible. The opossum's anal glands may even secrete a foul-smelling fluid. To the untrained eye, the opossum appears to be dead, but he's probably still alive. Two dog attacks hair. While spotting airplanes at Amsterdam airport, the man filming this video saw a dog chasing a hare for at least five minutes. Because it's not something he sees every day, he decided to film it, never suspecting the dog would catch the hare. The sound of the screaming hare wasn't pleasant, according to the man, but he let nature take its course. Two dogs can be seen chasing a rabbit in the open field in Pakistan. After the dogs catch the rabbit, their handlers approach to see the action up close. These dogs are extremely fast and seem trained to hunt rabbits the way they do. The people filming this video own a small kennel dedicated to just producing rabbit dogs for pleasure running, rabbit hunting, and trailing. Most of all, to have a good time with the dogs. It's all fine and dandy, but seeing dogs chase and kill other animals isn't my idea of having fun. But hey, what do I know? Trailing, on the other hand, is simply training a dog to follow a particular human scent pattern wherever it might lie, on the ground or in the air, rather than following a specific set of tracks. One dog attack springbok greyhounds are a type of sighthound that were developed to track and hunt animals in open areas. The breed became well adapted to running over time. A greyhound runs in a double suspension gallop, like a cheetah. Each hind leg follows the foreleg, and all four feet leave the ground in this stride. The dog's body compresses and stretches with each stride, much like a spring. Salukis are a breed of desert dog famed for their speed. In the old days, Bedouins of the Arabian Peninsula relied on them to hunt for gazelle. Today, they are more likely to race for sport. Springboks are fast, and they have a unique pronking or stoting jump in which their legs stiffen as they leap into the air. Jumps can reach a height of two meters. In this video, the dogs easily win the race and take down the springbok before their handlers reach the kill zone. Because Saluki dogs were bred to pursue prey over long and difficult distances, they are not as fragile as they appear. Salukis can run 30 to 35 miles per hour, and some breeders claim they can run nearly 50 miles per hour, which explains why Arab tribesmen use them to hunt gazelle. In this video, the Salukis chase and kill a springbok. Many of these were spectacular, but what shocked me the most in all these videos was the fact that so many of the people filming preferred recording the action instead of stopping their dogs from killing innocent animals. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you next time.